In this video, I want to share with you a coordination drill that is going to train both your visual and vestibular systems. So that is working on the eyes and the inner ear. These systems are the two most important senses our brain has of making sense of the world. Um, the visual system obviously gathers information about the outside world and builds a picture for us of what is going on for us to either make plans uh, to move into that world or to assess uh, what danger is coming towards us. The vestibular system on the other hand works more inwardly and its job is to tell our brain how fast our head is moving through space. So the vestibular system kind of tells our body to fight against gravity to hold ourselves upright and based on how quick we're moving or where we're going um, helps keep us in an upright position. Now, the other thing that happens is the vestibular system and the visual system work really, really closely together. And that is because it is very hard to get a clear image, uh, a visual image of what's going on in the world if your head is shaking around. Uh, most of you will know this experience if you've uh, had a shaky hand trying to trying to film something uh, or if you've seen any kind of action movie where cameras are jumping around. Uh, it's very hard to watch that for a very long time and it's very hard to make sense of what is going on. So if we're moving around through space and our head is just bouncing all over the place or our eyes are just darting all around the place randomly, that is not going to be great for building, allowing our brain to build a picture of what is going on. To combat this, our brain does a mix of things. So sometimes it might keep our head still and ask our eyes to move around and look at and focus on whatever they need to focus on. Sometimes they will try to keep our eyes still and focus on one thing while our head is moving. Uh, that's going to be uh, particularly useful if we're running towards something or uh, running away from something and having to, to keep a track of it. Uh, but more realistically, this kind of stuff is happening in combination all the time. So we won't really be doing too much of one thing all at one time. Our eyes might move, then our head might move towards wherever our eyes are. Uh, and we'll probably have a combination of everything um, at all times. So really what we're saying is to be able to move efficiently throughout the world, our head and eyes need to be able to coordinate with each other really, really well. And this drill that we're going to look at is uh, probably one of the most difficult that you can do for head and eye coordination. This is going to be what's called a VOR cancellation. Um, VOR just stands for vestibular ocular reflex and that is what I described earlier when your eyes are fixed on one target and your head is trying to move. Uh, now we're going to try and do the opposite. So now we still want our head to move, but we want our eyes to remain still in space. Okay, so to make that happen, we're going to need uh, something to focus on. So I'm going to use a pen. Uh, feel free to use your thumb or just anything that you can, you can get a focus on. Generally, smaller is better, so you can get a nice small tip. Uh, that will be ideal, but go with whatever you've got around you. Now, the idea in this is you want to be able to turn your head and move the tip of the pen or move the object that you're tracking at exactly the same speed as your head is turning. So you want your eyes to be able to remain in the exact same position in your head while your head is moving, okay? This is gonna take a little bit of work to get right. Um, a lot of the time, your arm will want to move before your head. Uh, your eyes will wanna move first, or sometimes your head will wanna move first. I'd highly recommend that you film yourself while you're doing this. Um, a couple of things that you can do to make this easier or harder. So probably the easiest way to do it is to focus on your target and move your entire body. So if your whole body is moving, actually you can kind of just freeze, adopt a statue pose, and just see, can you maintain your gaze on that object 
as you get the peripheral stim stimulus of the world moving past you. For some of you, that's going to be quite hard as it is. Your eyes are going to start to sting. You're going to feel the urge to blink a lot. You might tear up. Um, you may even feel nauseous. Uh, if that's the case, then just make it make small movements, uh, decrease the the range that you move or decrease the speed that you move um, and even try it in different directions so that could be leaning your whole body forwards it could be uh, rotating to the side moving on diagonals uh, but you want it to be your whole body or at the very least your whole upper body moving as one unit now if you want to make this much much harder uh, moving your body as one unit doesn't really utilize the neck reflex so the vestibular ocular reflex if you remember is moving your head uh, not necessarily your whole body while your eyes remain still to level up this drill and to to make the coordination challenge much more difficult you want to try and get the body to fight its natural instinct to perform the vestibular ocular reflex what i mean by that is you're going to move your arm and your head without letting your torso move. So your trunk, uh, your chest is going to remain completely still and your head is going to perform the same movements out and back that they did before. This can be in all kinds of directions. So if you're stuck, think of compass points, north, south, east, west, and the diagonals. Um, but as you get more proficient to this, you can really be going in all kinds of directions, figure eights, uh, write your name, um, anything you like. So that's about as difficult as I'd recommend going. If you're finding that you want even more of a challenge, obviously you can increase the balance challenge and that is another way you could make this more difficult, but that's what it is for now. So there you have it, a VOR cancellation drill try it out let me know how you get on uh, let me know if you've got any questions about that drill or uh, where you might find it useful uh, this is going to come in very handy to well being able to do this is going to be very handy if you want to get into any kind of ball sports in particular where you've got to be running and, and looking and tracking things at the same time uh, also i find this really useful for anyone who has some kind of pastime or maybe even profession uh, where spinning where, where whole body spinning is utilized quite a lot so um, aerialists and um, uh, acrobats in particular can find this kind of drill very useful when they're spinning and their eyes don't really know where to go uh, it can kind of help them kind of track and tr track and uh, jump uh, a little bit smoother so anyway Thank you for watching, let me know how you got on, and I will see you next time.